Hello again, Doc on the Clock with more Mario vs. Sonic.exe! Uh, because there's another one. <laughs> yes, it's Mario vs. Sonic.exe 2! Also by the Insanity 115? Well... <laughs> if there's two, we're playing two! A year has passed from the Sonic EXE defeat in very gothic text. Everything seemed back to normal. But suddenly the Mushroom Kingdom sky went black until Sonic EXE reappeared. The quality of writing you come to expect from the Sonic.exe franchise. And killed all the inhabitants of Kingdom! <laughs> we are in prime creepypasta territory, people. Sonic.exe killed all the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario must kill Sonic.exe and re relive your friends and all the inhabitants. That's not how things work! <laughs> you know what? I don't care. Let's just... We'll go with it. It's... The game is... Strange as all hell. Uh... That is extremely hard text to read, but it says introduction. We'll get introduced then. Okay. Uh, there was a speaker box there, but I don't know if I could actually get it. I'll have to maybe come back in and see what it says. Well, we've got a lot of very close to dead. Yeah, those are spikes. I kind of thought they were, but... It's an unusual place for a whole bunch of spikes to just randomly be there. Also, we got a lot of destroyed pipes. Something about the scrolling feels weird here. Not really 100% sure what it is. Might just be my imagination, too. And we at least have the power of fire and flames at our disposal. We've got a lot of undead to defeat, so... Fire is good to have. Oh, jeez. That's, uh, those are some, kind of some jumps, by the way. Information. This place was a beautiful, it was a beautiful field. Sonic.exe killed everyone. I c could not have possibly gone on without knowing that. And there's no way I could have intuited it from the fact that, you know, everyone was a frickin' zombie! Alright, we're gonna quickly see what that message box says, because clearly we're going to take a hit from it. It doesn't even work. Why is it even there? All right. Uh... Oh, God. Dark Temple. I can't... I can barely read these level names. Um... <laughs> this is gonna be fun to try to edit. All right. 
Well, we're in the Dark Temple. I'll just have to make sure I say the names often enough that I can catch them easily. Ooh! Well, they went from red eyes to no eyes. That's fantastic. So, Sonic.exe, uh, Mario vs. Sonic.exe 2, I should say, has, uh, apparently has, like, 21 exits, so it's not significantly different from the first one in terms of length. So we're probably gonna have maybe, uh, three worlds, maybe four, uh, Depending on how many secret exits there are. Should last a few episodes. With I, I can wall jump. Can I wall jump anywhere or just on particular terrain? And it's gonna be hard to actually figure that out. Looks like I'm everything. Uh, that was a very short level, though. <laughs> I, I guess you don't expect temples to be that big, but still. Alright. Uh, what... Do I have any hope at all of... Evil Fortress. Well, <laughs> at least the names are relatively straightforward. Uh, what? I... So, I really shouldn't have jumped there, but I expect that magic to go in a direction that was a lot less uh, upwards. Well, at least the womps look more normal until you actually uh, get them to activate. Oh, okay, that's fencing. I was like, what am I supposed to do there? I'm just supposed to hold up and pray for the best. Mario looks a lot less angry in this one. You'd think having in all the people in the Mushroom Kingdom dead would make him a little bit more furious than the last time. Apparently he's just, he's just totally okay with that. Why? I, I have no idea. I wouldn't be totally okay with it. Also, I realize that I haven't seen any uh, dragon coins yet. It's Tails.exe again. He's changed tactics a little bit, because he's now throwing a bunch of very annoying fireballs around. Oh, jeez. And this, these really tall jumps are problematic as well. I like the use of custom bosses, in theory. Some of these need... Some of these are designed a little bit more for... Uh, games where you have more health. And not for games where you have just three hits. Let's try that again. All right. <sighs> yeah, this is just mildly frustrating because there's no good way of predicting how Tails is going to move here. Oh. 
Yeah, that's a whole lot of problematic. If I had like five or seven hits, not so bad. I've got a sending glitch. Oh, frickin'. I don't know how this boss works. I can't figure it out. Just starts whipping around like and can do whatever he wants. <sighs> Explain to me how that is supposed to be making any sense at all. Why does he just go into turbo mode randomly? Random turbo mode, I can't do anything. That boss needed, like, half as much health as it had for if it's going to be that <laughs> weird and wild. Like, that's just... That boss was just flat out unfair. I like the use of custom bosses again in theory, but... <sighs> they have to be at least somewhat fair. Anyway, that's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.